Hello and welcome to Trend Maker or TR3ND Maker. My name is Alex and today we're going to create a dual bed surface for the CR10S Pro and that is coming up right now. All right, so we've got a really fun project here for this S Pro. Now, the thing is, I don't really care to print that much on a textured surface. I do once in a while, but most of the time I like a nice smooth surface like glass. Now, but one of the benefits of this uh, printer is that with this aluminum build plate, we can actually create this dual surface. Now, I've actually been printing straight to this aluminum plate for a couple months now. I'm going to throw up the video here if you want to watch that. Um, but, um, but having the textured surface and maybe putting a PEI sheet on here, I think is just going to be amazing. It's going to really take this printer to the next level and make it really easy that I'll have that option no matter what I want to do. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we're going to have to rip off this old sticker here. And this is really trashed at this point. Um, and we're going to have all this gooey mess here. We're going to take a little bit of cleaners, acetone, nail polish remover, um, goo gone, something like that. We're going to get it all prepped and cleaned off. We're going to take a little bit of sandpaper to smooth out any imperfections or nicks. Same thing over here. And I actually do have a few nicks here in the middle uh, from when I'm having to get a scraper to get off a few of those uh, prints that were really stuck on here really well. And the other thing we need to do is we're going to lightly prep the actual heap of plate here on this uh, S Pro because right where the uh, bed leveling knob goes, the screws that go in there, actually, when I guess where they're cutting it, it sort of spun the aluminum up and created a really sharp edge. And it actually created on all four corners here, which I did sand down already, um, but it actually dug into this aluminum plate pretty well. And I don't want that to dig into the nice PEI sheet or even this surface. That way, if we're printing near the edge, we don't want to have those little circles coming at the bottom of our print. All right, so let's peel off this old build surface. Now there's actually, if you start peeling this up, you may actually find that there's like a layer of uh, in between. That's actually almost like a layer of tape that this is stuck to. So we need to get underneath there and get that coming up. Otherwise you won't be able to get all the uh, goo off. Now we're going to have to get the thin, like double-sided tape uh, film off of here uh, so we can actually get to the actual build surface. And this is going to take a little bit of work. You might have to work your fingers a little bit to sort of get underneath it. And go nice and slow. You'll have better success. All right, so a little bit of acetone on a rag and uh, just let it just sort of get the area wet, let it soak in a second and it'll sort of just come right off. Uh, you might want to do this in a well ventilated area. It does give off quite a bit of fumes. And uh, if you can't find acetone in your country or wherever you live, uh, you can go to nail polish remover. It pretty much has a uh, primary ingredient and most of those is acetone. All right, so this build surface actually looks really great, and I don't think I need to sand and prep this side at all, um, other than to maybe just hit a little bit of sandpaper on the edges uh, where I got a couple, couple little nicks. Now, the back side um, actually is a little bit more marred, especially on the four corners where I was having issues with the screw heads here, um, and a little bit in the middle where I've been sort of digging in some prints. So the next phase is we're going to go ahead and just lightly sand this down, hit those edges, and then we'll get on to laying on the new build surfaces. All right, so our build plate on the side with the uh, textured adhesive actually looks pretty good and it doesn't really need much prep at all, but the back side does. So we're just gonna hit it with the sanding block and I'll put a link in the description for this actual grit. This seems to work out really nicely. We're just gonna give it straight back and forth, nice even strokes, mostly concentrating on the areas, uh, the corners and the areas where um, we were actually getting a little bit of cutting on the actual heat bed over here. So just nice and um, straight, back and forth, and just work your way across. Basically just trying to clean up the surface and get a nice even texture all the way across. 
when we lay down that PEI sheet, it, it's really thin, and pretty much imp any imperfection in the actual aluminum here will show up on that PEI sheet. All right, there it is. Looks perfect. All right, so this bill plate is ready to go. So what we need to do now is we need to get rid of the towel. We need to get clean this entire surface off. We do not want any lint near when we're putting this adhesive sticker on because any dust that gets trapped underneath that PEI sheet or uh, texture sheet will be there forever. All right, I'm starting with the bottom side of the build plate, the one that had the little bit of marks on it that I had to sand down. I feel like the textured surface will go a little nicer over there, and uh, being that the PEI sheet is a little more translucent, it'll probably look a little nicer. Okay, so we gotta get this nice and lined up. Now we wanna be sure that the orientation is correct. This should actually fit on this, at least on the S Pro here. It should fit exactly like this. It is not square, it is actually rectangular. If you go this way, you see it'll be short on the side. Okay, so we wanna be sure that we have it lined up properly. We wanna line up, be sure that we're perfectly in alignment, now, I've actually slightly taped um, the actual aluminum plate to this box here just to help it be a little more secure. So we're going to get this perfectly lined up, and then we're going to take a piece of tape. And this is what's going to help us get this on perfectly straight. Okay, so we're going to place that on the edge here. Okay, and again, perfectly lined up. Let's try not to get any movement. And then we're going to bend this down. I guess we can start that first. Get this bending down. And we want to get this perfectly lined up. What we're trying to do is basically tape the alignment, the perfect alignment, to this. And again, that's perfectly straight, nice and straight. You don't want any wrinkles here. It's really important that this is nice and secure. And then we're going to just bend under. Okay, and then this should basically lean up, and then if we tilt it down, it should lay perfectly straight, which is exactly what it's doing. Okay, so this should come up, and when we bend it, it's going to lay perfectly straight. All right, excellent. All right, now we're going to peel off the coating or the covering for the adhesive. Now, I have already wiped this bill plate down with a microfiber cloth. If you haven't done that already, it's very important we don't have any dust in here. You can just sort of hit it one more time before you hit this. Try not to stir up any dust. And then we're going to sort of let this sort of fall into place. Push a little line in the center. Take your straight edge. You're just going to push out any bubbles. Working your way to the outside. Right, and then give it a nice, even pressure all around. A nice stick. All right, so this has now been cleaned with isopropyl alcohol, so it's nice and clean and ready to go. Light dusting down for any lint. We want to be sure there's no lint under here. <clears throat> now, Gizmo Dorks here for the PEI sheet is actually recommending pulling off the little protective blue layer. So we need to do that first to reveal the actual PEI portion. Take your time here. All right, now that we have the protective coating off, we're gonna do the same procedure as we did with the textured surface. We're getting it nice and lined up. And lay this on. Let's try to get about halfway. Let's go ahead and just we'll get the edge squared first. And let's position it. Okay, we should be nice and straight now. Okay, we want this nice and square. No wrinkles here. We want this to align just perfectly. And let's go ahead and test it. Lift this up. We drop it down. And yes, perfect alignment. Okay, so now we're going to slowly peel off the 3M adhesive backing here. Give us one last dust off. Nice 
nice and straight. Pushing from the center. Good. I'm going to use the uh, microfiber cloth here. It will help push. We're just pushing out all the big air bubbles. It looks really nice here. So it's, it's perfectly flush here. There does seem to be a little lip here. We're going to take a razor blade when we're done here just to be sure that we're trimming up any edges. I can feel just slightly a little bit of lip on the edge here, but a little razor blade around here will clean this up nicely and that way we won't snag it in the future. But this actually looks really good. Now it actually is recommending that we put this back on and heat it up really well. But before we do that, let's go ahead and clean up the uh, screw holes here. That way we don't scratch this up. And then we're going to heat this up. We're going to press out all the bubbles and we should be good to go and we'll try our first print. Okay, so this PEI sheet is a little thick, so what we're going to do is we're going to just score it a few times and we're going to slowly make work our way across the bottom to get that overhang taken care of. So it is thick, you will have to work at it just a little bit. Okay, and again, we're just gonna trim up a little bit on the edges here. So let's go ahead and prep the S-Pro so we can actually start putting this build sheet on, heat it up, and see how it works. Now we're gonna take our sanding block or some sandpaper and we're just gonna slightly smooth out the, uh, the little cutout holes here because they are a little bit high. So just simple, take your block, a few moments on each one. You'll start to see it give like a sort of a smooth little circle around where you can see where it's sanded and not. That's usually a good sign that you've got that high spot smoothed out. So we're just gonna go ahead and that. All right. All right, and really. And then you'll see that so there's like a clean, little clean circle right there, and that usually is a good sign that we got the lip out. I am super happy how this project came out. It has been on my to-do list for months now. Okay, so now I have a little bit more options with this S-Pro. I can have that textured surface, sort of from the factory, if that suits my print, or I can go to the smoother surface, similar to glass with this PEI sheet. Um, yeah, so I've got more options, really great. And let me just say that the adhesion here for this PEI sheet was really great. I felt like it stuck really nice, it laid really well, and when it cooled down, just gave a little bit of effort, popped it off, Really nice. I will definitely be doing a review on this PEI sheet in a couple weeks. Let me get some prints down on it. Uh, yeah, really came out nice. And I feel like that those first layers just stuck really great. And of course now textured or smooth, I have that option. You can also do this if you have like an Ender or some other printer, you can do this actually right to the glass. If you want a textured surface, you can actually put on the back side of the glass that textured surface, and that way you'll have the smooth glass surface to print on. And if you do feel like textured is okay, you can actually print on the back side, but you still retain that really flatness of the glass. So really great project there. Do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. You know it totally blows my mind. It gets me super excited to produce more content. I've got a couple really cool videos coming up in the next couple weeks. I hope you'll watch those. And uh, until the next one, I'm out.